this is my romance shelf. Um, all the books on here that you can see are unread. I haven't read any of these. So I'll just show you some. Um, I've got my collection of Little Black Dress um, books. This is my first one that I'll probably read when I get a chance. The Trouble with Valentine's Day. And then I've got a few more. These are all Little Black Dress books to here. So, and then I've got more behind here. A lot of these I get from charity shops and things like that. I used to buy a lot from there, so After Ever After by Rowan Coleman. She's meant to be a really good author. I've read one of hers, um but I haven't read any more. Um this is one that I really want to read. I really like the cover. I think it's the best cover out of her books. The Accidental Family and baby group. I think this is definitely the one that will grab most people's attention. I just think it, it's a really sweet cover. So, um, Second shelf. I've got Sophie Kinsella book, 20s Girl. I've got another one here and I've got two on my red shelf that I've, I've read. I've also read all the mini shop holics. So, all the things we didn't say. Sarah Shepherd. I've got quite a few by these. Um, Jane Green, another one by Jane Green. I've got quite um, different collections. Pop Tart. I really like this cover. I think it's just very unique. Um, Kathy Kelly, Once in a Lifetime. There's another book I think is a really pretty cover. These are definitely prettiest covers that I've got showing so yeah Imogen Parker I've read one of hers I think it was a bit of an average read so it's kind of made me not desperate to read these other two but all her books are different just different coloured stripes this lullaby Sarah is a popular author from what I can tell so I've heard great things about this one so I look forward to reading it down here, it's a bit dark. Um, the Learning Curve, The Waitress and The Nanny by Melissa Nathan. They're all quite big books, if I show you. Quite, yeah, definitely big reads. It'll probably take me a few years to get to these. So. Um, Nicholas Sparks, True Believer, and I've got The Guardian here. A few back here. Jill Mansell. Nora Roberts, very popular, very, very popular author that I've heard writes really beautiful stories. So, And here right at the end is a book I read when I was about 10, 11, and it's one of my first that got me starting to read. So, yeah, I really like that one. So, that's all of mine on this shelf. And just here's my little nephew's books. I like him to have some books, but he finds mine more fun to look at anyway. So, yeah, I think that's all. So, this is my young adult and mostly paranormal and things like that on this shelf. So, I'll go to the first one. I've got My Name is Memory that I won in a competition that was in my mailbox this week. I'm number four and star crossed. What I love about this shelf is I can put another set of books on so they'll come to here but they still fit on whereas my other shelf can only fit one lot of books on so um, deadly little secret. And then I've got the Morganville Vampires set here. I've got to book seven. I haven't actually read any of these. All these on my shelf apart from two or three and not red so the same as my romance shelf the first vampire academy book and the first and the third um my i think it's my love lies bleeding series i'm not really sure about that one um i've got fire spell from the library that was in my mailbox last week slave to sensation my um friend um sent me this and it looks really good and then my second shelf, um, perfect chemistry series there, I've got the, the first and the second one, 
And then these is these are my um, 13 treasure series. I'm not really sure it's Ray. I think it's yeah, they're, they're in the right order actually. And um, Werewolf, which I think I won from the Daisy Chain book reviews. Got a little letter in here from Penguin. Yeah, Daisy Chain book reviews. Then I Ghost of Chance, which I won from. Um, library thing early reviewers which I still haven't read and is really bad I really need to get to this one because the author was very kindly sent this to me I think it was from America so I do really need to read this one and the same with this I win this from Goodreads and I really need to read it Olivia the author was very kind to send it to me and she put two bookmarks in and also signed it enjoy your all access backstage to Sinners and then I got Forsaken from the publishers. They were very kindly sent it to me. Um, numbers is from Chicken House. The, yeah, Chicken House. And that was Stolen that I got is also from them, which I really enjoyed. 0 0.4, which I got from my lovely friend Karen at um, The Slowest Bookworm. I'm still to read this, but I'm hoping to read it soon. I've just got lots of books to read. Um, Die For Me which I don't think I'll ever take off my shelf because it's so pretty and I'm so happy to have this. Tom sent me that. Um, got that series there, Grave Sites, I think it's called Serious. I've got three of them. I don't know how many of them is out. And Strange Angel, but this is actually a promotional edition and I didn't know that when I brought it and the print is quite small. So I don't know when I'll get to that one. I'm not very as excited about it because probably end up getting headaches from reading it and then I've got I think it's dead and gone series here I don't really know which order they're going I think a touch of dead is actually one that goes right at the end but I've got it at the beginning so I need to entice I've got the first two on my Kindle um, night star I got this one from the publishers I think it's been out quite a while but I um, it's a new cover, I've got that from them, a little letter. Um, I've read this, this is what, this is actually the only one I've read on these shelves. Um, Lottie Big series, I haven't actually heard this one, the publisher sent it to me. Bright covers, and then Forbidden Boy. all on this shelf. I'll be back in a moment. This is my final shelf and it's quite hard to get to because I have to stand on the chair which turns around so I can't really show you all the ones here. I'll try and show you most of them. Some here as well. And then I've got even more behind here. These are all unread as well. All, all the ones I'm showing you on the camera are unread apart from about two or three. So one of them. I'll just get down. Thank you for looking everyone. Hope you enjoy my bookshelf tour.